Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. What I have here for you today is this really cool survival kit called the Vessel Supplies. So did you know survival kits do not need to come in little square tins or some camouflage cloth bag. They could come in a really cool form factor being a large aluminum flashlight. So VSSL, pronounced Vessel, packed an Essentials Survival Kit into this waterproof rugged flashlight. While I'm videotaping this, in Texas, Hurricane Harvey is creating havoc. So when it comes down to natural disasters or man-made disasters, there's a lot of riots and, and violence going on today where society can break down very easily. You gotta have a plan and you gotta have your three-day kit and you absolutely should always be carrying some sort of essentials survival kit. And that's where this vessel supply can come in really handy. So I bet you're, you're wondering what's on my head. Well, this is a little headwear thing that Vessel also sent me along with this because they're selling it as a bundle right now. Uh, before, you got this for $99.50. They threw in the headgear, which you could sort of wear um, a number of different ways. You could sort of have it around your neck or as a mask or, or whatever. Really cool. You know, it's not expensive or anything, but it is very functional, very handy, very multi-purpose. So, if you're interested in this bundle, uh, you can get it for $99.50. And I did provide a link in the description box below for your convenience. Let's start out with the body. It's aluminum, 2 inch diameter, 9 inches long, and weighs 17 and a half ounces. It's made of aluminum. You have a flashlight right up front and you have an oil-filled compass in the back. I like it when it's oil-filled and you notice no bubbles or anything so it is a good quality compass. It is a little slow to reactor but that's typical of oil-filled but they tend to be very smooth and they work very well so you're just going to give an extra minute. Flashlight 200 lumens. What you do is you press and hold the button comes on. Uh, give it one tap it's on low Hit a tap again, you have SOS. Cable 200 lumens, lumens on high, low. I don't know what the lumens are. However, it can run for 40 hours and the SOS also 40 hours. So let's see what we have inside. We'll go ahead and start by unscrewing the compass. Now the threads are a little rough. I suggest that you put a little bit of grease on there, which I did. Let you take a look at that. You can see there are O-rings. By the way, all these parts and everything I'm about to take out of here, you can buy refills for these. You can buy replacements at, at the VSSL or Vessel website. So will go ahead and put that aside. And let me just go ahead and get everything out. Because we sure have a lot. So we have all this. And one thing that's not coming out easily, so i got to get it out from the top, is the VSSL Priorities of Survival. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. And very essentials. If you're going to get into survival, you are obviously going to need more than this, but it is better than nothing. Now, when you get this, the, the batteries are included, but they're not installed. I'm going to show you how those go. You just uh, unscrew this and you put these three batteries in here. These are EverReady E90s, also known as N Type 1.5 volt. They're kind of uh, not. The most common batteries in the world but you can find them on Amazon and you might find them at Lowe's places like that they're not hard to come by they're just kind of different than what we usually see and then all you do is just put this little plastic here you use a coin or whatever 
to screw it back on. It's good to do a, a back a little bit so you don't strip your threads and then go forward. Uh, very simple. And you can still use this flashlight even though it's not on the tube. You can utilize this flashlight just the way it is. Nice and simple by the way. Let you take a look. No spot, just flood. Very nice, even no artifacts or anything weird going on. Very nice flashlight. Just want to show you the compass really quick. Again, oil filled. And you can see, it does take a little bit of time to go ahead and point, but it does get pointed in the right direction. That's how oil filled compasses do work. Make sure you hold it level. Just like that. Now here is something that is extremely rare these days. You used to be able to find bees wax candles all over the place years ago. These days, extremely hard to find. And this is pure beeswax, lasts four hours. And what's unique about beeswax is that it doesn't give off any black carbon. So if you light this up and you, and you put something over it, which I don't recommend, you don't get that black carbon residue off the flame. So you get a very clean, very healthy <laughs> burning candle as opposed to those cheap candles. Um, let me get this quarter out of here. Uh, by the way, you wouldn't find a quarter in this kit because it is made in Canada, by the way. I should have showed you this box right up front. This is the box that it comes in. They do give you a one-year limited warranty. And they do respond rather quickly. Let's open up the first kit. This one says Rope and Razor Blade. It's nice how they label things. Nice little tin. get out of there all right well a nice wooden spool which is a very tight fit in here there we go and here is our razor blade I'll tell you they know how to get things into small places so you have a nice normal razor blade I want to be careful with this you know what I am going to well we'll go ahead and take that off so normal looking razor blade it also has some marine grade rope that they put on this wooden spool, which you could use as tinder for fire, by the way. And this is 25 feet long and 250 pounds of tinsel strength. So it may be small, sort of like a fat thread. It is bright, so it's easy to see. You're not going to be climbing any mountains with this thing, but you could use it to tie things down or up and, and good for emergency while not taking up a lot of space. Next is a saw. Yes, a saw's in here. It's a wire saw. Um, not your cheap one that you can get at Walmart. Actually, this one is a bit better. This is the same saw that's used uh, as that's issued by the British military. You have canvas handles on here, not those metal handles that will eat your hand alive. Let you take a look at this. And this has 60 pounds of strength, so you could saw through. Um, some branches, you're not going to take a tree down with this, but it does work very well. Could even get through some soft metals, but again, this is for emergencies and survival. This is uh, not going to be your everyday saw. Next thing is catching food, and one of the things you could do if you're by a lake or the ocean is you can fish. So you have a whole fishing kit in here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we have. Oh, there's more. Alright, so what we have here are three barb hooks, three lead weights, three swivels, a uh, three rubber worms. You have a, where's that swivel? Okay, you also have a spoon kind of thing that attracts the fish. I'm not a big fishing kind of guy. You have 50 feet of 20 pound test fishing line. And you have one... EVA line winder bobber in here. I guess that's, yeah, this uh, little foam right here could be used as a bobber. I do want to point out that two of the lead weights are very small that sort of just clamp onto the line. And then you have this one larger one. Next we have trail markers and a whistle. The trail markers are essentially large thumbtacks. Actually, average size, average size thumbtacks, and you have ones that are white, 
and you have ones that are orange so you have different colors these are kind of small so it may be a good idea to carry around some fabric and just use this to put fabric and then tack it to a tree if you need something a little bigger however if you want to be covert about it you could put it in a special place where where only you would know where it is and it's very small so it's up to you you also get this whistle it doesn't have any kind of ball inside there so it'll be even good when it's wet and it is pretty loud next we have a can opener and water purification let's go ahead and look at this so what we have here are some tablets and it feels like we get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten aqua tabs and you put these into water and it will treat the water sort of decontaminate it kill all the germs and stuff you could actually buy that this kind of thing at Walmart so if you do use these up you could either get them from VSSL replace or you can find them like I did here in the local Walmart if you just want to um, buy some more by the way just so you're aware these tablets do have expiration dates like the ones that came with the VSSL kit right here says 9 2020 so just be aware you need to keep up with those kind of things don't uh, rely on expired tablets here's the active ingredient just in case you want to know next is the P38 John Wayne is what we used to call them in the military can opener <laughs> and what you do is you just sort of flip this open like this wow this is brand new so that it's stiff <laughs> all right I get some pliers to get that over because holy crap it's uh it was tight and that's probably you know the the metal when they manufactured it the metal was pinched a little more than they should have uh, which does happen with these guys these are you know military issue very cheap say so there's your your mill j0837 stamp on there but we called them john wayne's were uh when i was in the military how they work very simple you just get this guy on the rim of the can right underneath like like that see and then you just sort of a little bit at a time just sort of cut it'll cut into the top of that can then you move it back cut 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 so you just work your way around just like John Wayne did in the movies, which I think is why they call these John Waynes. I oh, almost uh, forgot to tell you that they did give you some instructions with those aqua tabs for the water purification in here, which you could also use as tinder for a fire also in an emergency. Fire starter and mirror. So you have an acrylic mirror here on the back there is some plastic on here I'm gonna leave it on there but you can see how nice it looks underneath I'm gonna leave that on there so I'll have it for an emergency and we'll get scratched up so what we have in here is some uh, tinder which I guess is some sort of cotton or something so you have five pieces of that and we have bunches of matches in here um, it's hard to count they are in there tight well I'll tell you what they know how to use every bit of space here it looks like one two three four five six seven eight matches tinder and where's the striker there we go so inside on the inside of the cap there we do have this place to strike the matches next is the medical kit you get a roll of well this one unscrews you get a roll of medical tape eight medium sized bandages eight small butterfly bandages and a larger bandage one package of two aspirin and two antiseptic wipes and four safety pins are all in here so we get a lot of a lot of stuff down in there it's uh, about as much as you could cram in there amazing ah. and again this is very very basic this should be considered the most basic uh, medical thing some people would probably criticize it but you know what there's only so much you can cram into a flashlight and what I'm seeing here um, is 
an incredible accomplishment. Now again, some of these things do have expiration dates, so be aware. I know aspirin does not last forever. Let's take a look here. This says 7-2018, so you could purchase some aspirin and, you know, wrap it up or whatever and, and put that in there after these expire, or you can get the official replacements from Vessel. Sometimes these things could be a challenge to get it here. Um, there we go. Now one thing that I wish this had, which it doesn't because it, there's no way for it to fit in here, but what I'd like to have in my medical first aid kits are these stop bleeding packs. It's sort of will, you know, sort of like a, a powder of some sort. And you can put it into your, your cut and it'll clot and it'll keep you from bleeding out. I, I think all medical kits, emergency medical kits should have this, so maybe this will be just something to keep on the side or keep in your glove box or, or whatnot. This uh, this stuff is really a, a lifesaver. Huh. The Hulk is on it. What could be better? Now there are some cons, like there are cons for everything. So I had to dig pretty deep to find some cons for this guy. And one of the things is you have a nice aluminum container here, but the base that comes with it is the compass. So um, it could hold water, actually, because it does have gaskets, but you won't be able to boil water on this because you have the compass here. And I don't know how much heat these O-rings can handle, because you could buy a cap for $12 that doesn't have the compass, and you could put that on there and boil water, but I don't know how much heat these O-rings can handle. Um, by the way, I know some pictures or reviewers will burn the candle in this guy just like this. Um, not good for the compass, so burn the candle off that. You know, you could maybe for a couple of minutes on on there if you want, but I would take that off or, or whatnot. Putting this all back together is super duper simple. Um, what what I will do is because well we, we could do it like this you just put you can go from the top or the bottom I, I prefer to load this up put your um, survival guide in there first and you can put all these other guys in there however what order you want uh, I'm probably not putting these in the exact order. What I would recommend is figure out which things you'll probably want to use first and have those go in last so it doesn't take as long to get to whatever that one item or two items you think you would need. I would think uh, in an emergency maybe that medical stuff or, or something like that would be the first that you would want to get to. Pop all those things in there. Your candle and then the base. Actually, it's good to get the candle aligned on the base just like that. And close it all up. And nothing to see here but a big old flashlight. <laughs> a pretty amazing flashlight. Um, other things I forget, forgot to point out is that those trail markers, those thumbtacks are reflective. Uh, other cons, it, it takes a lot to dig and find the cons on this guy. But... Um, the batteries, not the most common batteries. Some people might find that a con. Also, the first aid kit is very limited. Again, I pointed out that I'd like to have some sort of clotting agents in my first aid kit at a minimum. And there are other things I like in there too. But I did want to point out this particular item because that's kind of important just to me. So this would make a awesome gift for somebody who has everything but doesn't plan ahead. <laughs> Especially um, someone who is not a you know, official prepper or someone who's just not a camper or not a whatever. This actually is just a gorgeous solution that that person would be proud to carry around and not look like a prepper. Um, this is very essential. So you could start out this being the base and then build upon it. There is not a, not a lot of room to expand on what's already in here, but you can take things out and put things in, or you could add a couple of other small little things sort of augment it. So you, you can go so many different ways. Also, Vessel has all kinds of other amazing products. A friend of mine 
is the one who told me about this company and I reached out to them asked them if I could do a review of one of their products which is why I'm here reviewing this he bought the um, vessel that is called the flask and I'll go ahead up oh, actually it's right there so it has two expandable cups and it has the compass the flashlight all in one unit right there but you can see there's the supplies and again you can get the bundle we also get this uh, headband I had on my head right there along with it for the $99.50 you can get the mini cache the regular size cache they got one that's the first aid kit only so you get more first aid stuff because they don't have other things in there you got a shelter which is one of those uh, foil type shelters and the rope that marine grade rope the zombie <laughs> look at that spike so you take the you take the spike out and you reverse it then the whole thing becomes the handle with the spike so you can take care of your zombies G.I. Joe kit I like that some of their kits are that uh, army or Odie which is olive green which is my favorite color and black really cool looking right there they got the G.I. Joe Cobra edition <laughs> and again these, these are products that are made in Canada not in China they are made there. They got a new thing coming out called Nitro. I have no idea what that is. Let's see. You got the flashlight, carabiner, end cap, compass filled, mountain hardware tool, wax paste, bottle opener, neck gator. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Again, I'm not a professional outdoor kind of person, but I do like to prepare. And I do like to test those products. And I, I do have my bug out bag. I do occasionally go out and try a couple of things. Like a, like I've done the solar still. I've done a, a regular still to make fresh water. And uh, tried different ways of making fires. And, and things like that. And, and I've tested products. And I know which ones are good and which ones aren't. Um, do I want to rely on this as my primary uh, bug out? solution no absolutely not but let's say you're in a vehicle or you have a very small car um, this would be great to throw in the glove compartment of the car plus it, it is the flashlight you know press and hold and she's on she's very bright you can tail stand it can get you out of a jam uh, then it has a low and that SOS then if you want to turn it off you just press it one more time again very simple again three emitters so if you're already carrying a flashlight, carry this and then you'll have a whole lot more. This would make an awesome gift. Like I said, awesome gift. It is very unique, very special. It shows that you care. I'm going to do a special shout out for Alan for introducing me to Vessel Products. He had that flask. He bought it because it matches green Jeep. He, had the, he got the green version. Really, really cool. Check out the website, VSSL, pronounced Vessel. Very unique products. Very cool. Highly recommend it, absolutely. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Europe Session channel. I really do appreciate every friend you are subscribing read, especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.